your delectation, Books Unplugged, would like to present Jurassic Park! Books Unplugged. Adaptation for your delectation. Now Books Unplugged. Here with Ted and Dan. Books Unplugged. Page to screen and in between. Books Unplugged. Which would you destroy? Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Dan. And welcome to Books Unplugged. Today we are talking about <laughs> Jurassic Park. Uh, the book and the movie. Yes, we're talking about Jurassic Park, the book and the movie. If you don't know Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park is the story of an eccentric, multi-rich dude yeah. uh, who buys a theme park and clones actual dinosaurs who then... Um, he uh, invites some uh, intelligent uh, academic people over. Yeah, and the dinosaurs mess everything up. Yeah. So you know, it's Jurassic Park. You yeah. know the story. So, so we're, we're going to talk about what we love and hate. About the book and or movie? That's our first part. Books unplugged. Adaptation for your delectation now. What, yeah. what is your major, major, biggest thing that you love about the book or the movie? What's, what's the thing that you love the most? The thing that I love the most about, um, I, I'm going to say the book and the movie is Hammond. Hammond? But I'll have to preface with, I love, I, uh, is Hammond in the book? Because he is just a total piece of garbage. Yeah, he's, he's a prick in the you book. You know, he, he seemingly gets a pass in the book and movie, you know. Yeah, somehow. Uh, for all the terrible things that he had done, right? like getting people killed, releasing, you know, various uh, dinosaurs in the, in the beginning of the book. I'm you with know, you. Uh, on the people that kills babies. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it kills babies. You know, and and then, he just denies and it. And then by by the end of the whole story in the book and movie, he's just like, ah, you know what? I know how to do it better next time. You know, I'm not going to rely on these other people who failed me. Yeah, but it's him. But it's him. It's him. It's yeah, him so that's what I like. stupid money. But oddly enough, I just love how I, I just... I just you love, love to hate thing. him. I just love to hate him. Like, so what was yours? My major love, this is just the book, um, the movie gets into it a little bit, but the book is unapologetically and somehow entertainingly mathy and sciencey, <laughs> And I just think that's so cool. I, I, mm -hmm. I remember when I was in high school, actually, that they, I didn't read the book in high school, but uh, there was like a math class that mm -hmm. read it. Like right when, it, you know, I was 92 or something. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was strange that a math class was reading a book. Then when I read it, I'm like, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. You Th know? That, those were all those kind of technical parts. I just love those. They're great. Usually I don't like technical parts in books. Somehow he made it. I don't. I don't. It's. 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 Um, I'm gonna read more of this guy of Crichton stuff, just because I thought it was really cool the way he incorporated into the story and managed to make it really cool and interesting uh -huh. and not. He did it, but didn't labor on it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that's my major yeah. love. Let's put sixty seconds on that clock. Well, how about right, uh, right down over here. Speed round. Right. Right yeah. here. Right here. Well, we're gonna talk about our minor loves and hates. Yeah. Little things. Little things. And we're gonna do it in under sixty seconds. We're gonna under under sixty seconds or sixty seconds or under. All right. Uh, I want to go first. I'd, li I'd like you to. I love that in the book, uh, the lawyers think that Hammond is up to something. And it's not like, you know, they disapprove of the dinosaurs or anything like that, but they think that what he's doing is going to cause the investors to lose money. And that's why they're investigated. Not that, like, a couple people have died or, like, they're over budget or anything like that. Nice. You nice. know, it's all about the money. Uh, I love the the first scene in the book is a raptor mall in the ER. Oh yeah, that I love. That's like one of my favorite openings of a book. Yeah, it's like, great. Or, or even a couple of chapters. And then yeah. the then the, the little the little baby killers and like the, in the book, there's a problem before anything starts. Yeah. Like in the movie, it's like we get here, everything's great. In the book, oh. everything's all right. The the, yeah. the the mayonnaise is out of the yeah. jar. But I love the frequent mentions of the dinosaurs' bad breath and the smell of them oh, in the yeah. book. I, I it, it, they mentioned it a couple of different times, but uh, you know they, uh, you don't hear about anything like that in the movie. Baby T Rex, there's a baby oh, T Rex. Oh yeah, the BBT. <laughs> that, come on, a baby T Rex. Books to Boeing, book into Boeing, and books to Boeing. Let's quiz each other about Wasn't little the book. things. Do you remember? Were they? In, was it in the book? Go ahead, Dan. The Seinfeld guy, uh, nerdy Nedry, Nedry. Yeah. Yeah. Who plays the, the computer geek and he steals the embryos? Yeah. Was he in the book? Yeah. Yes, he was. It was just a first check. It's like a thousand characters. 
Like you could name just about anybody. <laughs> Humperdinck was he's in the book. Um, uh, so uh, I'm going to go a little bit more specific with you, Dan. Okay. Um, was the straw hat that he wore? <laughs> the straw hat in the Hawaiian shirt. I don't, oh, was that in the book? No, I don't think so. It was. <laughs> he yelled. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It was the straw hat. It was that character was like exactly in the book. Even, like, yeah. exactly. Like, they picked the perfect actor for that character. I mean, I, they must have watched Seinfeld and been like, uh, Newman! You yeah. know, like, enthusiastically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Grant, scaring that kid with the raptor claw. No. No, that wasn't Not there. It. Yeah. Not there. Yeah. That whole thing was different. Yeah. That well, whole, it was a good way of introduction, introducing yeah, uh, the, the Grant char- character. Yeah, the yeah. movies. I mean, come on, it's Jurassic Park. Yeah. It's, it, 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 I mean, it was the top grossing movie of all time at the time, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was, come on. It was, no, maybe not of all time. Maybe Waterworld beat it. Um, uh, Dr. Grant saving the kids from the T-Rex. I don't think so. For some reason, I want to say it was like the lawyer who actually did it in the book. Cause well, you're, ru- was- you're wrong, uh, but, but you're right. So that isn't in the book, but no, the lawyer didn't save the kids. Oh, okay. no. But he's a lot cooler in the book. He's much not, cooler. He's not as like... He's much uh, better. Yeah. You got, you got any more? Uh, the goat. The, they used to lure out the, the T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah, the goat was in the book. Yes. Yeah. yes it goat was, was in the book. Yeah. And we're... Batting a hundred right here. <laughs> I got, I got, I got one. Uh-huh. I always like to end mine in a specific kind of way, so you'll probably know the answer. But uh, Hammond eating ice cream. Hammond eating iced cream. You know what? I don't think so. You are kind of wrong. He does eat ice cream in the book, oh. but he eats it like for an escape. It's like he eats it like sociopathically. Okay. So in the m- movie, he's kind of like, oh, with the kids, let's eat some ice yeah. cream out of the big tubs and uh-huh. it's fun. In the book, he's like, like stressed and everything's falling apart and he like right. needs to break his kind of, right, he's right, crazy, yeah. crazily eating uh-huh. it. So uh-huh. you're, again, again, did you, did you, did you read the book, Dan? You know, a couple, a couple of months ago. <laughs> it's been a long time since we read this book. Coronavirus kind of derailed our show a little. So, you know, you'll forgive Dan for his obvious ignorance. Oh, how about this one? The sick, uh, the sick uh, triceratops that... Uh, yeah, that was in the book. Uh, and it wasn't it, a triceratops. It wasn't a... It was sca- a stegosaurus. <laughs> I read the book. I did. I did. I got the memory like a stegosaurus. Books. I need them unplugged, baby. Books. I need them unplugged now. It should have been there, man, is a, is a section where we talk about things that were in the book, weren't in the movie, but they should have been. And mine is just three, three words. No. Uh, baby T-Rex. Should have, uh, should have been there. Why? Why would you not put a baby T-Rex into a movie? It's uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although that did you, would, that, 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 did you hear Ren? He says it's kind of hard to make it look real, really. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that pacifier in the baby T-Rex as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little diapy, a little <laughs> nappy for the baby T-Rex. Uh, what do you got? Um, the beginning part where the reports of those dip, dip low, those little tiny dinosaurs that come out and it's like nipping the baby toes. Oh, and like, yeah. And like, there's like a tourist, which I think was in the second Jurassic Park movie. I, did, I didn't watch the second but, Jurassic uh, Park movie. But yeah, the, that whole first... Uh, Part where it's yeah. like those little things have already escaped out. Yeah, everything being out before that's pretty pretty cool. I mean, I get why they didn't, but it is pretty pretty good, and it would yeah. would have made it would have changed the movie pretty dr- yeah. dramatically. What were they thinking? Now, what were they thinking is a section where we take you into the mind of one of the characters. So we have a, a shot here, uh, a clip. We, we, we can't afford clips, so we just have yeah. this this <laughs> black and white Xerox sheet of yeah. paper. And, and I'm uh, going. Ed's going to be reading from a, a section from. Uh, a section from the book, book which explains, explains what they were thinking, and we're going to be thinking. talking about Ellie, um, Laura Dern's character, and uh, what she was thinking as she uh, dug, dug through uh, the stegos- tri- stegosaurus. Well, it was triceratops. Triceratops yeah. in the movie, stegosaurus so in the, the book, book. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as we discussed, mm-hmm. um, and she's <laughs> and she's going to be uh, she's going to so, be. So go ahead and read. It. All right, I'll go ahead and read it. People are so naive about plants. Ellie thought they just chose plants for appearance. 
as they would choose a picture for the wall. It never occurred to them that plants were actual living things, bu busily performing all the living functions of respiration, ingestion, excretion, reproduction, and defense. But Ellie knew that. In the Earth's history, plants had evolved as competitively as animals, and in some ways more fiercely. The poison in Serena vera formans was a minor example of the elaborate chemical arsenal of weapons that plants had evolved. There were terpenes, which plants spread to poison the soil around them and inhibit competitors, alkaloids, which made them unpalatable to insects and predators and children, and pheromones, that was parenthetical, and children, and uh, pheromones used for communication. When a Douglas fir tree was attacked by beetles, it produced an anti feeding chemical, and so did the other Douglas firs in the distant parts of the forest. It happened in response to a warning aloe chemical secreted by the trees that were under attack. People who imagined that life on Earth consisted of animals moving against a green background seriously misunderstood what they were seeing. That green background was busily alive. Plants moved, grew, twisted, and turned, fighting for the sun, and they interacted continuously with animals, discouraging some with bark and thorns, poisoning others, and feeding still others to advance their own reproduction, to spread their pollen and seeds. It was a complex, dynamic process which she never ceased to find fascinating and which she knew most people simply didn't understand. And that's... That's what she was thinking. That's what she was thinking. When an, with her arms deep in poop, yeah. because, because she, uh, she realized that they were poisoning this dinosaur, it's Stegosaurus or Triceratops, right, yeah. because they put in a plant yeah. from not the Jurassic period. It was a different yeah. period. The just what Mesolotheic they, they just or the Geranal like period. A... Best bits, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the movie, uh, the best bit is objectively the T-Rex scene where the T-Rex goes after the... Oh, yeah, in the movie, yeah. In the movie, that's the best bit. Okay, okay. How about uh, you? Um, first time uh, seeing the Triceratops, you know, where it's sick. I, I really like that part. It in was, the movie? In the movie, yeah. Where it was one of those moments where it's like kind of awe-inspiring. You see the dinosaur, it's not scary. It's just laying there, it's kind of sick, and they're trying to... It's breathing. It's Get breathing, that. yeah. You know, it looks, you know, it looks pretty real and... And stuff, uh, you know, besides all the other big action-y parts, I thought this was a nice, real moment, you know. Hmm. That's the best, of... best bit? That's what I, th that's what I felt was all the right. best bit in the movie. I think, I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, best bit in the book, man. Best bit in the book. Oh, I got two. Okay, let's hear them. You want them both? Yeah. All right, I'll do them quick. I've, do... I've already, yeah, go ahead. I, I got two. So, Tim on his own. So, this goes back to... Uh, when the did it happen in the book? Did Doctor Grant save the kids? Yeah. Doctor Grant doesn't save the kids exactly. Tim and the car falling and all that stuff is kind yeah. of there, but Tim's on his own. Yeah. Right. And Tim oh, is right. way yeah. cooler in the book. Way cooler. Way yeah. better. Oh no, no. Oh, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the he's the older kid in the book. Yeah. Yeah. He's the older kid in the book, and mm -hmm. there's this whole subplot about Doctor Grant and Ellie wondering if they're going to have children. So there's this yeah. weird thing going on. But Tim is way cooler, and Tim gets like left alone. And he's like thinking on his feet and he like realizes what's going on and he throws rocks to scare away a stegosaurus. He's like his own little action hero. Mm -hmm. Very cool scene. Also, uh, pterodactyls, man. Yeah. Pterodactyls. Pterodactyls. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They were, they were cool. They, they mm -hmm. go into this little aviary. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, the pterodactyls are, are mm -hmm. vicious and awesome. And yeah. that's a really, that's a cool part of the book. Uh, for me, was again going back to the uh, beginning part. I, it felt like it was almost like a pandemic story. You know, yeah. you know these these dinosaurs have been uh, uh, sent out. You don't know, you know, and you hear these little stories here and there, and it just felt like you know, uh, the the story could have been going in a different direction. You know, it, it, it type of thing. I, I really, I I just really liked that. I had no no expectations of what was going on, but you had these of how it just spread. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. that's a, it's, it's great. The beginning of that book is, is outstanding. You have mm -hmm. so many things from it, it makes me think that you, you only read 15 pages of this book. <laughs> I mean, well, if, I, I, I'd like to, maybe I should start reading well, the middle of the book. Well, I, I had another, I had, I had another, uh, another part <laughs> that I wasn't going to bring up because it's kind of a spoiler. Uh, as, yeah, know, let's do it. Spoiler. So, hey, there's spoilers. So the, so the end of the book, because to show you that I did read the end of the book, <laughs> Hannon. They've uh, run off. They're all off trying to find, try to stop the boat or whatever. Yeah, and, they're like, trying to stop the boat. And the boat's boat. coming out. And, like, 
and stuff. And so Hammond, he, he's got to go out and find something in another building or whatever. So he walks out and he's just like, rah, 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 while they're talking to himself. And then um, one of those little dinosaurs comes over, bites him, and it like releases that, yeah. that stuff, that pheromones or whatever into him. And he's, as he's laying there, slowly dying, he's got more of them biting on him. He's like, yeah, I wasn't wrong. It was everyone else. They failed me. Yeah. Next time, I'm going to get smarter people. Yeah. And it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And he's just laying there slowly paralyzed, can't move. Being devoured by... Being devoured by all those little... Weird necked... Yeah. Dilipidoruses. Dilipidoruses or whatever, which, they, which are mentioned in the beginning of the book. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so they're, that, they're featured in the board game. And featured in the board game, yes. But right. so that was my truly favorite part. But I didn't, I didn't want to bring up that. Spoil it. Spoil At it. least I feel like you read the beginning and the end of the book, <laughs> which is great. Which is, which is good. You know, yeah. those are the two most important parts. Uh -huh. So anyway, we have to make a decision, Dan. Okay. Books unplugged. Which would you destroy? Which of these pieces of brilliant media would you throw into a tar pit to stink? <laughs> And be disappeared forever, only yeah. to be made into gasoline for for fat, lazy Americans in, in a few million years. I am going to say to destroy the movie. I agree. Really? I agree. <laughs> I, I, I no. This was a weird one. I felt weird saying I to destroy too. the movie yeah, it's because it's a good movie. It's a great it's movie. It's, it's really good. It's but really, that book. Oh man, that man, book is good. I could read that book again. Ah, oh, easily. I mean, easily. I've, seen the movie, I've seen the movie a couple I'm times. I'm gonna read more of his books. Yeah. I'm gonna read more of his books. I thought it was a really. I mean, just so many cool things about it. So anyway. That's that's it. That's it. That's what yeah. we got for Jurassic We'd Park. We'd like to know uh, which you would destroy. Dan really wants movie. to know Let which know. one which one you would do in the yeah. comments section, and he'll respond to all of them. Um, stick around. We're gonna do. Uh, we got a bunch more books. You can check out our show. But yeah. we're also gonna stick around. We're gonna play the. It's right over here. The Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park board game. Board game. Well, we played uh -huh. it, and we're going to have a discussion about how it works thematically with the book yeah. and the movie, and how the gameplay is. Um, so stick around and check that out and uh, yeah thank you for joining us and uh, we hope to see you again uh, you know uh, there's yeah. a th thumb button or no I don't know yeah, I don't know what you're things. supposed to do yeah, subscribe or hit the bell don't hit the bell Ed and Dan would like to thank you for joining them on Books Unplugged page to screen and all that's in between if you like the vibe Please like and subscribe. Like lazy <laughs> and letting the boss yeah, like yeah. walk over oh. and stuff. He's like, come on.